today. Say hi, Mary. Mary and the other Shabby Tabby Cats are gonna help us um, show everyone how to properly introduce dogs and cats. Um, a lot of people think that they can't have cats because they have dogs and vice versa, but you absolutely can. I have both. Um, there's just some steps to follow. You don't ever wanna just throw them together because it, it can be really, really scary for um, both of them and it could end up as a disaster. If you start off the wrong way, their relationship usually won't uh, be a good one. So we're gonna go through the steps to help it be a successful introduction. So right now we have Pebbles. Pebbles is here to help get the cats used to dogs. Um, a lot of times people come in and they're like, is this cat good with dogs? Has this cat ever been around dogs? So sometimes we'll do this um, to see if, how the cats react. Um, the first thing we learned that you should do is get a blanket and rub it on the dog and get their scent on it. Um, after you do that, it's, it's uh, the way to get the cats used to their scent so you're not just throwing them in. So I rub this on pebbles, get our scent on it, and we're gonna bring it into the cat room and let each of the cats sniff it off. them each food or treats on either side of the door where they can't see each other where they're stressed out but they are able to eat and smell each other so they can get used to each other's scent and associate it with something positive like eating and all animals love eating so if they they can smell each other while enjoying a treat or a meal <laughs> it'll be better for their introduction. So, Rocco and Pebbles will have treats close to the door. Come on, Pebs. While someone else is giving treats to the cats on the other side of the door. of repeating those steps, sharing the scent with the cats, feeding them on either sides of the door, trying to get them a little bit used to it. We are gonna introduce Pebbles to the cafe cats. Um, it's key to have a leash on them, just in case you know their instinct is to run and chase and charge. We wanna have control over the dog, and someone will be also having control over the cats, just in case they wanna you know run and scratch, and the key is to go really slow. Let's see how it goes. <laughs>
the most important part about the initial meeting of the dog and the cats is that they are well behaved and go very slow so like ryan said that's the point of the leash so that the dog isn't running amok and the cats feel like they have a little bit more control almost all cats are going to have that reaction of arching their back and the puffy tails it is just when they are most alert and they're not sure of what's going to happen with this new animal that they're being introduced to so don't feel like the meeting is a complete failure when you see your cat doing that that is just their initial response and they will pretty quickly get past that so pebbles did absolutely amazing when it came to meeting the cats she was very calm she took her time walking into the room and she sat there with Ryan and let the cats observe her. Now we want to show you Rocco's reaction to walking into the cat room because this is also very important when introducing your cat and dog. As much as you want the dog to make a good first impression on the cats, you want the same for the cats. You don't want to force them to be around the cats when they are scared and not ready for it. Allow your dog to take a breather and regroup before reintroducing them to the cats. That could be within the same day. It could be the next day you really have to gauge the situation with each individual cat and dog for Rocco it was only a matter of minutes before he was ready to try again and go back inside This one's very calm. This one is a little bit more anxious, so the cats are kind of getting a feel for both of them. Um, I find that when you sit on the floor, it calms the cats down, you come down to their level, so maybe it'll help them be more comfortable and come over to us. Um, but always keep the leashes on. I'm gonna let Pebbles go free, but I'm gonna keep her leash on and just see you know, how she does, how the cats do with her. Um, she doesn't seem like much of a threat, so we're gonna give it a whirl. She's not bad. Uh oh. He's like, all I wanted was dinner. He's like, I told you guys no dogs. Specifically in my contract. No dogs. Guys. Look at him freak out when I see his face. Shy guy. He's like so unamused. your cats is to make sure you have high places for them to hide that way they can take it all in from above um, like wall shelves or high cat trees that the dog can't reach uh, cats like to be able to go up high and you know take it all in from their own comfort level where the dogs can't get them so a lot of times that helps like even when we introduce cats to the cafe sometimes we'll put them in a condo where they can see everything without feeling like they're in danger. So, get things that are high up. That went really well. Um, as you can see, um, the beginning of the video, the cats were all fluffed up and really, really scared looking. Um, but after some time and seeing that the dogs were just, you know, exploring and everything, they all seemed to calm down. They let us pet them. Um, and I really think that almost all 
dogs and cats can get along if you introduce them the right way. So try to follow these steps. We're gonna keep trying to do videos like this to help um, adopters and cat and dog owners with some problems and questions they might have. So check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel. Talk to you soon, bye.